Hi, I want to talk about um, negotiating an offer. So eight tips for negotiating an offer, right? So number one, act fast, um, especially in this market right now, in a seller's market, you want them to know you're serious and you really want the house. So if you get a counter offer, congratulations, first of all, and second of all, respond to them right away. The longer you wait, the less they think you really want the house and it gives other people more time to sneak in, right? And then raise your price. The truth is, it's hard to raise your price because you're already paying a lot. And when you make an offer, you don't want to come in low because you're probably not even going to get to the second round where you have an opportunity to respond to a counter offer. But you probably want to raise it some to show, yeah, I really am interested and I really want this house. And then increase your earnest money deposit. You know, it really doesn't matter a lot, but sometimes it's just a symbol that um, I'm willing to put more out there on the line and I'm serious about this offer. I usually recommend 2%. I know uh, West LA, everything's 3%. So somewhere in there, and if you want to be bold, you can go more than that if you like. And then one of the things that's real common now is possession. When do you actually get the keys and move into your house? So sometimes being patient and allowing that seller enough time to move really helps make your offer attractive because it's hard for them to vision where they're going to move and moving is difficult and hard and all these reasons. So if you can give them more flexibility on that end when they have to move out, that will help make your offer stronger. And then consider removing some contingencies. This is really tricky business, right? You don't want to remove a loan contingency uh, if you're really not able to, and you don't want to remove an appraisal contingency if you're not able to come up with the cash. And as far as inspections go, you know, I can write in a contract that we're going to take this home as is. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't have an inspection. Have a home inspection done. Know what you're getting into. And even though you said you would take it as is, if that home inspection reveals that you have major issues and it's not worth it, well, then you don't buy the house. So you can still do that. Um, and then asking for concessions. You know, in a buyer's market, you could say seller to pay X number of dollars toward my closing costs. Well, in this case, you might offer to pay some of their closing costs in the market like it is today. And I sure wouldn't ask them to pay mine unless I was offering a really high amount, in which case I would need cash to cover the appraisal difference, which means I shouldn't really need help with my closing costs. And then paying for a home warranty. Simple thing, probably four or $500, um, but it's just one of those things they don't have to do. It's a good faith gesture. It can help. And then lastly, you might need to know when to walk because sometimes it's just not worth buying that house. It's not the right fit. Thank you.